Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Out of the Park Baseball 19 with the Chicago White Sox. And um, we had quite the second half to our season, as uh, you may be able to tell. Let us take a look at the standings real quick. Uh, as you can see, we um, were just absolutely on fire in the second half, and uh, Division didn't give us too much competition, and we just kind of blazed past everyone in the standings. It ended up winning 98 games now. Uh, there is a caveat to those um, 98 wins, and... Um, that's the fact that if we come here and we take a look at our history index, um, our Pythagorean expected record was only 91 wins, so we're not quite as good as, as the record may suggest, but we're still certainly uh, a quality playoff team, and uh, a lot of interesting things have happened um, in these last couple of months. So uh, first thing I'd like to point out is Andrew Ted Simmons got injured right at the end of September. He was um, doing quite well for us. He'd racked up uh, 1.3 wins in only 39 games, was hitting very well, was playing good defense, and uh, but fortunately, unfortunately, he will be gone for the playoffs, although he did uh, help us with our run to the playoffs, so uh, overall happy with him. Uh, Norhe Ruiz ended up winning the ERA crown for this year, 180 innings for him. Uh, masterful piece of home run suppression was it really did it and uh, so he's a guy we're gonna highlight for sure and shortstop who I think we're gonna uh, have to figure that out I have a couple options um, but as you can see that whole there's a hole in that lineup for now but uh, Rutherford did quite well he was nearly 2020 Moncada picked it up not quite as good as last year but he picked it up Willie Calhoun massive year ended up five wins 144 OPS plus, 44 dingers. Hard to complain about him. Uh, Jimenez started to get it together a little bit at the end, but still uh, not hitting particularly well. 29 home runs, though. That's good. Uh, Aaron Hicks had an amazing year. 114 OPS plus. Good defense in the corner. Okimi picked it up, too. He, he finished with 121 OPS plus and 38 home runs. So uh, a lot of home runs on this team. Which was good, and then uh, just rounded out Swanson. Finished an all right year, close to at league average hitting. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what we got for the team right now, and um, we don't know who we're going to face yet because the um, the Rays and the Orioles haven't played their wild card uh, matchup yet. So we're gonna skip ahead, and we, you can see that we are going to face off against the New York the New York Yankees in the ALDS. So uh, that means it's time for us to set our playoff roster. So let us go ahead and do that now. All right, we are here for game one of the ALDS. Here is your Yankees lineup. As you can see, they're rocking with Torres, Billy McKinney at DH, Gary Sanchez, Judge, Stanton, Bird, Esfan Florial, JD Davis, DD Gregorius sing ninth, Severino will take the mound. You can see we've decided to go with Eduardo Escobar, who was our utility infielder, as the starting shortstop. And um, we've added Jed Jerko to the playoff roster to sort of back up some of these infield positions. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Welcome to the playoffs. Okay, Rees with the first faced batter of the postseason. And he gets Glaber Torres to ground out to Dansby Swanson. 1 2 3 inning for Ruiz. Rutherford to lead off against Severino. And he walks. Okay, Willie Calhoun runners on first and second. No outs. That's unfortunately going to be a double play. Jimenez now. He gets hit. Aaron Hicks pops out to end the first inning, so we threatened, but no runs. Another 1-2-3 inning for Rees. Joshua Kimmy hops on the 2-0 pitch. Sorry, He hits it 419 feet, and we have our first run of the postseason. Escobar now, our replacement shortstop facing off against Severino. He hits it high and deep. Is that going to get out of here as well? Yes, it will. That one went even farther. 423 feet. 
TD Gregory is high and deep, and that looks like it'll get out of here. So a lot of solo home runs to start the game. That one goes 382, so two to one ball game now. All right, tricky situation here. Runners on first and second, no outs. Reese facing Judge. And he is able to force the double play, so great bit of pitching there. Now facing off against Stan with two outs, runner on third. And he strikes him out, so an excellent job getting out of the inning by Ruiz. Okay, single up the middle. That will Bird will only advance to third on that one, so runners at the corners with one out against Gregorius. Gregorius hits it deep. Will it be enough to tag? It looks like they will be safe. So, close play, but the Yankees are able to tie it up. Torres now at the plate. And it looks like that will get us out of the inning. So, tied at two through five. Oh, and Aaron Judge gets a piece of this one. Sanchez had reached earlier, and so that's going to be a two-run home run. Yankees go up four to two, unfortunately. Oh, Kimmy, that one's high and deep, just but it's just straight away center, and it's just off the top of the wall. That's about as close as you can get to hitting a home run without actually doing it. So Swanson now, runner on second, two outs. And that looks like it will unfortunately end the sixth inning. Okay, Ruiz has pitched a pretty solid game so far. Only allowed six hits, no walks, three earned runs, and um, eight strikeouts. But uh, yeah, with, at six and two-thirds now, we're going to bring in Goudouin to face Gregorius. A little lefty on lefty. Hopefully that'll work out for us. And he walks Gregorius. Now he's got to face Torres, but with McKinney coming up, I'm going to keep him in. And he's able to force the ground out from Torres, so... We head to the bottom of the seventh. Okay, top of the eighth now. Billy McKinney at the plate. That's unfortunate. <laughs> A lot of home runs this game. Oh! Oh, I thought that was going to be a home run for sure. But Jimenez actually makes the catch at the wall. Okay. All right, I've brought in Alcantara to face off against Gary Sanchez. Forces the strike out there. Now facing Judge. Walk. Now facing Stanton. This lineup is unfair. Strike out, and we get out of it. Okay, so bottom of the eighth. We need some runs. Tommy Canley now in. Willie Calhoun will single, so runners on first and second to start the inning. Jimenez at the plate. And that's going to get through. And that'll score one run. Alright, we just need one more run to tie it up here. Still no outs, runners on first and second. Aaron Hicks. That's going to be a passed ball, it looks like. So runners advance, that's good. That, that takes away the double play, which is big. Aaron Hicks, high and deep, go ball. Get out of here, ball. Get out of here, ball. It's caught at the wall, but Calhoun will advance. And um, yeah, whew. so we managed to tie it up, but that could have been that could have been a lead right there. So now Kimmy with uh, Jimenez on second. He walks him. That was an intentional walk. Chapman now comes in to face Dansby Swanson. And Swanson hits it to the gap. Will that score too? It looks like it will. And we take the lead, six to four here in game one of the ALDS. I'm gonna bring in Jace Fry to face off against the lefties Bird and Florial. Now facing off against Florial. Florial hits it high and deep, and that is gonna be out of here. It's a one-run ball game. Oh, it's going to be, I can already tell it's going to be a close one. Now, it's, I'm in a tricky spot here where it's righty-lefty, righty-lefty, so I have to decide whether I trust uh, Fry or or what do I do here. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, put in Zach Birdie just because I didn't like that Fry allowed a home run there. So it's going to be, we're going to ask Birdie to get these last two outs here without getting scathed, so let's do it. It's a strikeout. Now he's got to face off against Gregorius. Gregorius is already homered today. And he forces the ground out. So we win game one 
of the ALDS at a really close affair, but four runs in the eighth uh, allows us to pull off the comeback. And as you can see, we're very happy dancing on the field right there. <laughs> okay, here is your box score. We win six to five. A um, couple hits for Calhoun and Okimi, including an Okimi home run. Reese pitched a pretty solid game. Alcantara gets the win. Zach Birdie gets the save. Tommy Canley ends up taking the L on this one. So now we advance to game two. Okay, so game two, we will face off against Dallas Keuchel. It appears to be the same lineup as before, and Sonny Gray will take the mound for us. So let's go. All right, looks like Gray will get through that inning no problem. Sonny Gray cruising through his first two innings here. Now Aaron Hicks will face Keuchel. And Aaron Hicks with the second hit of the afternoon for the White Sox. Blake Rutherford to the gap, but it looks like that'll be caught to end the inning. So scoreless through two now. Florial is going to be able to go first to third on that single, unfortunately. So runners at the corners, two outs. Can Gray get out of this inning? Yes, he can. Well done. Well done by Gray. And just like that, we are scoreless through three innings. So, pitcher's duel so far. That's an error, unfortunately, by Swanson. And that error will make us pay as Judge is going to hit this one out of the park, it looks like. So it's going to be a two-run home run. Yankees go up two to nothing in the top of the fourth. Okay, runners on first and second, facing off against Gregorius with two outs in the fourth. Will that be caught? No, it'll drop in, so that'll score another Yankees run, unfortunately. Now he faces off against Glaber Torres, and he finally forces the strikeout, so... Three runs for the Yankees that inning as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Alright, facing Judge with a runner in scoring position. Judge is, uh, Judge is kind of our nemesis today, it seems like, as he gets another two-run home run. Yankees now up 5 nothing. Okay, I have brought in Spencer Adams. Sonny Gray's day is done. Willie Calhoun hits it high and deep. Will it be enough? Not quite. So, we are still unable to put some runs on the board through the first six innings. Keuchel is still on the mound to pitch the 8th. He's thrown 99 pitches so far, but has only allowed 4 base runners total, so... Okay, here we are, bottom of the ninth. Luis Isidenio is pitching. We are going to need uh, at least 5 runs here, so... Crossing our fingers for a rally. And it does start off with a walk. Mankata now goes deep. Is that going to be enough? Will it get over the wall? Yes, okay. So we're not going to get shut out this game. We still need three more runs, but it's a start. It's a start for sure. Tommy Canley now. All right, Jimenez is going to fly out to center, so we are now down to our last out. Aaron Hicks at the plate. And that one is going to squirt through. Now Josh Okimi on the mound, I mean at the plate, and he strikes out. So... Series tied up, 5-2 to is your final score for this one. And um, yeah, Keiko was unhittable, so. All right, here's your box score for this one. Aaron Hicks had three hits, and uh, pretty much no one else beside him got hits. Judge with the two home runs was the big difference maker, as was Keiko on the mound. He outduels Sonny Gray. And yeah, we are on to game three. Okay, I've just caught wind of the news that Aaron Hicks has been diagnosed with a sore shoulder. This is a uh, very unfortunate timing. We can't have Victor Reyes fill in, but we don't really have um, other outfielders on the 40-man besides him. So uh, if Reyes were to get hurt, that would force Calhoun into a corner spot. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a scary situation right now for sure. 
I guess the guy you really wouldn't want to get see get hurt right now could be Rutherford even. Um, but yeah, so that's the situation right now. I'm going to go ahead and switch uh, Victor Reyes, and I'm going to have him play right field for us. Okay, game three now. Victor Reyes will be our substitute at right field. Gregory Soto takes the mound for us, the rookie sensation, and the question will be, can he keep his walks down? If he's able to do that, he should be able to pitch pretty well. Tanaka takes the mound for a Yankees lineup that looks largely unchanged. Uh, I noticed that J.D. Davis moves up a little bit, uh, likely because he is uh, facing left-handed pitching. So yes, here we are at Yankee Stadium, Blake Rutherford to lead off. Scary spot here, Soto facing off against Giancarlo with two runners on. That's going to be a passed ball or a wild pitch. So now runners on second and third, only one out, facing off against Stanton, so real scary. And Stanton will single, but that will only score run one run. Now facing off against Greg Bird with runners at the corners. And that will bloop in, so good start for the Yankees here. J.D. Davis strikes out. Can he get out of the inning against McKinney? McKinney now, high and deep. Will that stay in the park? It's going to be close. It's caught by Jimenez, so two runs for the Yankees in the first. Gregorius high and deep, and that looks like it's going to be a home run, so... 3 nothing ball game, just like that, guys. Facing Greg Bird, bases loaded, two outs. This is a big at bat. And he hits him. Uh, I'm going to make the executive decision here. I just don't think that Soto has it right now. I'm going to bring in Kyle Funkhauser. And we're going to kind of bullpen this game out. We have a lot of arms, and... Um, even though it's 4 nothing, I would hate to see this game get out of reach, you know, something like 6 nothing, 8 nothing, uh, before we even really have a chance to get going here. So Funkhauser comes in in the bottom of the second, and he does force the strikeout. It's Gregorius again down the line, and he's got his second home run of the day. That sails right over Victor Reyes' head in right field, and the uh, Yankees add to their lead. It's 5 nothing now. Torres goes deep as well. Is that going to get out? Yes, it will. Back-to-back -back home runs for the Yankees, who have uh, firmly taken control of this game if they weren't already in control. Greg Bird has not homered. Reyes has tracked it down at the warning track. So 6 nothing game. We head to the top of the fifth. McKinney now, a lot of just a lot of uh, a lot of home runs it seems. Um, we've given up too many home runs this series. Okay, base is loaded here. Alcantara. Uh, the game is eight nothing, so maybe it's not that high leverage of a situation. But uh, it'd be nice to get out of this inning. And uh, it looks like we won't be doing that just yet. So. Past ball. And we finally get out of it. So, three more runs for the Yankees that inning. And uh, they are firmly, even more firmly, in control. Jimenez here. Will that get out of the ballpark, please? We could use some good news. All right. So, we do grab some runs at least. 9 to 2 game now. Yeah, all we need right here is a 11-run uh, rally against Luis Cedeno, so let's see what we can do. Okay, two outs. And uh, that's going to do it, fellas. So Yankees take the series lead 2-1, to one, and uh, our next game we will be fighting to stave off elimination. So here's your box score, guys. As you can see, we just kind of got walloped. Uh, huge day for Gleyber Torres, who 
uh, hit two home runs, also had a double, also had another hit. So he's got to be the game's MVP. But Tanaka was also brilliant on the mound. Uh, Soto got roughed up. Pretty much everybody got roughed up. Yep, everybody at least allowed one run. So uh, that's a bummer. So now we are on to game four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Yankees lead the series 2-1. to one. We faced off against them in New York once again. Daniel Norris takes the mound to try to save us. Chance Adams will take the mound for the New York Yankees. So let's get the show on the road, and hopefully we can force Game 5. So Swanson now with two outs. Is that going to squeeze through? Yes, it will. And it will score two. So we are able to hop out to an early lead in this one. Victor Reyes down the line. Victor Reyes has himself a double. How many will that score? That'll score two. Victor Reyes trying to stretch it out into a triple, and he makes it. So the replacement outfielder comes up big, and we, we take a 4-0 lead early in this one. Aaron Judge to the gap right here. Torres had already walked to start the inning. And that'll put runners on second and third early. So, yikes. Sanchez grounds out. Run will not score. Now facing off against Stanton. Forces the strikeout on Stanton. Oh my, if he could get out of this inning scoreless, that would be huge. Bird walks. That's okay, that's okay. Base is packed for J.D. Davis. Two outs. And that is going to unfortunately just squeak through. One run will score. Two runs will score. J.D. Davis making it a 4-2 ball game. Okay, base is loaded here. Now we're facing off against Florial. And the ball pops three. Can we get out of this inning? It's only an elimination game. Oh my god, and Norris walks him, and now he has to face Gregorius. Norris has four walks, this is the first inning! I'm at a loss for words. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss, we... We had two outs. They've scored seven runs. We had two outs. How can you fuck up this badly? How can you walk four hitters? Oh, now we get out of the inning. Oh, how lovely. Now we force some nice weak contact, don't we? It's 7-4. We had this. Judge now leading off the second. That's a towering home run. You know what? Your day's over, Norris. Your day's over. Your day should have been over a long time ago, but you know I'm the type of guy who you know will let you try to at least get out of the first inning. And uh, that's that proved to be an absolute killer today. Four-run lead just gone, and now the Yankees themselves have a four-run lead. So um, you're saying, I feel good. I really do. I wouldn't be feeling good, buddy, if um, I was pitching like you were. So Funkhauser will come in. Uh, that's brutal. That's brutal. All right, Jimenez got thrown out trying to go first to third, but we do score a run on that Swanson single. Okay, we're in the top of the fourth now. Yankees have decided to bring in Domingo Acevedo. So both teams pulling their starter very early in this one. Double play ball right there for us, hopefully. Yes, Stanton grounds out into a double play. Greg Bird now with two outs. And that'll be a nice catch by Rutherford to end the fifth. Andrew Miller coming in to face Jason Castro with two outs. Do I pinch hit here? Yeah, why not? Let's get Jet Jerko. Jet Jerko will pinch hit, and I'll put in Maldonado to play out the rest of the game. But this is just too crucial of a spot right here with a runner on third. 
And he strikes out, so I liked the thought of it. All right, two outs. Luis Isedeño is now on the mound for the Yankees. I swear this guy's pitched in every game, and how does he not get tired? And Jimenez will ground out. So, we move to the seventh inning stretch, boys. Wow, excellent inning from Peralta. He strikes out all the big, scary power hitters on the Yankees. So uh, that's pretty impressive. Hopefully that gets the team fired up. Chase Fry, can you get out of it against Gregorius? It's a walk. Ooh. Now he's got to face Torres. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, please. Yes, okay. Top of the ninth, guys. We need three runs here. And um, if we can't get it, then season's over for us. Either way, it's been a hell of a season. And... Um, Hopefully we can get back to the playoffs next year, no matter what. That's going to be a strikeout for Canely to start it off. Maldonado now. He strikes out. And just like that, we are down to our last out. Blake Rutherford, 0-2 pitch. He strikes out. So Tommy Canley, ice in the veins, takes care of it. Yankees will advance. They are your ALDS winners, 3-1 to in the series. Um, yeah, I just think um, for this team right now, it, they weren't quite ready. They didn't quite have the playoff experience. Uh, the injuries to Hicks, Simmons, and of course Steven Matz at the beginning of the year meant we came in kind of limping uh, as far as injuries go. So yeah, looking forward to improving the team in the offseason. Uh, I think now we have uh, certainly won enough to appease our owner uh, so we don't have to worry about getting fired or anything anytime soon, and maybe we'll have a bigger budget to work with and, you know, grab a free agent or two. So looking forward to get the off-season started in the next episode. Sorry I couldn't uh, get any further for you guys, but uh, trust me, I, I think we'll be back. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode as we enter the off-season. Peace.